Hey, hey now, how's everybody doing? Thank y'all for joining on another episode of Friggin' Friday. Ooh. I got the beautiful Sakura in the house. How you doing from Boxing Playhouse? Girl, yeah, what's up? I mean, I'm just happy it's Friday, okay? So it is freaking Friday for real. For real. And we need the weekend. Oh my gosh. But we've had so much going on. Like <laughs> off stage, we were kind of talking about um, the weigh-ins and stuff. <laughs> did you get to see the whole deal or how was that? Did you get to see any of it? I, I got to see a couple of little quick, quick clips um you know of them in each other's face and uh, but i didn't get to hear the you know the the ish talking which is what i really love right right <laughs> but it's legit though it's got to be legit like it, no it's got yeah for real it's got to be legit I, I know that um i was seeing that he that ryan was 3.2 pounds over mm. and uh i don't know if you knew about the bet that he made you know with haney yeah <laughs> i saw that yesterday um at the last press or so i was like you know i i kind of felt like something was up when his dad was like no no no, no. i know and then he's like okay dad i'm gonna do what you yeah. say but then he went ahead and shook on it you know so yeah that's on him he, i mean he says he has a lot of money so now he's gonna have to put his money where his mouth is um and i don't know if you got to see but uh, i saw clips too um he gets on the scale and then he chugs a beer did you see that Oh, <laughs> what? Yeah, wow. I'm like, I mean, yeah, I missed that part. I mean, I wonder if it was even like, you sure it wasn't a prop? Eh, I no. mean, it 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 could have been. It could have been because he has really been playing, the, and I do think he's playing it. I I personally don't think that he's crazy or whatever. Like some people are saying, I think that he is really playing this up. I mean, th what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I read um, on a Dan Rayfield article that the Boxing Commission for New York even, you know, wanted him to do some kind of mental competency test and stuff. And so in order for this fight to be still on, I'm, I'm thinking that he must have passed everything that they wanted to see from him um, to be able to fight. And so, yeah, it's a bunch of shenanigans and, you know, it's to it's to really to me, it's like a mental um, gain. He's trying to get over Haney mm -hmm. and making him have false sense of security of uh, security that he's not focused on this fight and that he's not you know, really. Prepared. Right. Yeah. No, that makes sense. I mean, reverse psychology, you know, one on one, <laughs> you know, uh, you you make people think that you you're not ready for whatever's coming. And, and then people f gain that that confidence. I mean, he already has the confidence, but now he's just like, oh, yeah, I, I really got this guy, you know, yeah, I, I'm really just going to like steamroll him. Um, yeah. And then and then uh, if the, weight, you know, the weight is what's throwing it off because it's like, well, if you really wanted to use that tactic, then you would have just been on weight. Come you know, in on weight. weight. No, I agree yeah. with that. I definitely <laughs> agree with that. And then he made statements like, you know, I'm not going to lose the weight because I'm just trying to win. And then a word that's pretty new, weight bully, you know, then they people start using that. Right. It's kind of hard to use that word with Devin Haney since we know now how much he actually weighed in that fight against Regis Progre earlier yeah. this year. And so they both are probably going to be up there, up there, um, you know, past the 147 zone for sure. I agree. Um, you know, over uh, overnight, they'll be rehydrated. And so, um, yeah, it could be an advantage. It could be a disadvantage to mm -hmm. um, have gained that much weight when you want to be moving around. And your best asset is your speed, you know, if you're Ryan Garcia. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And that, that killer left hook, though, he's going to have – it's like Haney knows that he's got that left hook, and he's going to have to stand right in front of him you know, to receive it, but he's not going to do that. I know they've been watching film. They've been sparring. They've been doing everything that they need to do to get away from that left hook. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't know if you've been noticing Oscar's face, like during the press conferences, the way he just, he looks like nervous and stressed. Have, have you noticed that? <laughs> um, I guess, you know, it's hard to 
gauge him sometimes because he he's really an emotional character himself. So <laughs> yeah. I try not to read too much into it. Um, but Ryan Garcia is, you know, the best ticket um, as far as sales, et cetera, when it comes to Golden Boy. So he could be nervous. However, you have people like me that's just like, I mean, I'm on the Ron Garcia train, not so much for the boxing skill over right. Haney, because I know that's not the case, but right. just the fact that he's willing to take these fights when the rest right. of these boxers seem like they're dipping and dodging all the time to face the best. So, I mean, I'm going to keep watching Ryan and supporting him as long as he's willing to get in there and, you know, bang it out and doesn't look like he's, you know, seriously endangering himself. Right. You know, you make such a great point. You are absolutely right. And it's like I was talking to somebody the other day where my boxing brain says that Haney's going to win, but my heart wants Ryan to win. Right. Um, okay. it, it, you know, so I, I don't know. And and then I see um, and, and I think it's a great tactic. Honestly, we see Bill, you know, uh, with the shirt, you know, Mexicans for Haney. And, and we've seen that before. Triple G you know, and many others, you know, Mayweather. Um, and I, I mean, I think it's, it's yeah, he better cool. Back it up. Yeah, you can't get in there <laughs> talking about you like Mexican style and all this kind of stuff. And then you get in the ring and you, you know, jabbing and, and on the move all night. That's, that's not that, going to bring you Mexican fans. <laughs> we both know that. <laughs> See, we on the same page because that's exactly what I was going to say. I was like, but he is far from the Mexican style in the pocket. <laughs> So, so I was like, I, I, you know what? I give him his props for, for, you know, trying to go there, but he, his son's going to have to show something a little different if he does want to win over the, the Mexican fans for sure. I, we were, we were right there together. We really were. Up, baby. I mean, I know he was in the pocket with Lomachenko, but you know, he, he that's really 135, 30, 30 pound, boxing. 30 pounds. Yeah. yeah kind of exactly. like maxed out, but still at 135. So yes. you know, that kind of, you know, punishment on the inside, but you can't do that with these bigger guys. And no. you know, now you've moved up in weight and I'm not sure we're talking about Ryan Garcia's weight, but we also were hearing rumors and different things about, him, uh, Haney having to take off his clothes to make the 140. So yeah. it's like both of them about to be maxed out. You know what I'm saying? Like they, You're right. they both need to be at 147, really. And I'm really they, they will. They they, yeah. they might be heavier than that. <laughs> you know, yeah, honestly, sure. once you're they right. rehydrate. Yeah, you know, right. um, I was gonna say, Christine, that I'm really culturally, I'm just over this whole weight bullying situation Same. that is in boxing right now. I mean, it's a Ooh. little, it's like you are stretching the limits of your body, you know, just, just for your self care. And then right. on top of that, you're kind of cheating because you're, you're using a, you know, that you're too big for a division, but you still want to try to squeeze into it so you can right. have a huge advantage over your opponents. And exactly. I can't have that much. Like, I'm not going to like be super crazy about you when I'm hearing that you're so much more than your opponent is the night of a fight. Exactly. I, I give you props for that, you know? No, no, you're right. You're right about that. You, you, you are right about that. Everybody just needs to hopefully do what they're supposed to do, but we know it doesn't happen that way. And then let's just see, let's see the best fighting the best, you know, but you're right about Ryan. You're right that he, he'll fight anybody. He said he would, and he does, you know, and not only does he fight anyone, but he, he sells the fight. You know, that's one thing. Um, one of the things that I don't like about, um, I don't want to say I don't like, but I, I wish that Devin would sell it more. He's a little bit quieter, you know, and yes, Ryan is a big presence and he may, some people think he goes too far sometimes, but I think we need to see a little bit more um, from, from, from Haney. I, I really do. I just, that's just my opinion. What, what is your opinion on that? Um, yeah, it comes out fake to me when he's trying to do too much. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know if it was uh, the first, the choke that he did to Ryan and like, yeah, he was so yeah. upset and I just, I just had said, I don't, I'm not buying it. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This ain't that dude to me. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. Me. Like, if Rachel's probably had a point uh, when he was just like, he ain't that dude. Like, he is not from the hood. He has not had to, you know, struggle through boxing life the way that a lot of boxers have had to, like, you know, start from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Now we're here. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I yeah. just I just have it's it's hard for me to believe when he's you know coming off a certain way and he got the skills to pay the bills and is and he and he's like been superior in in the way he's looking in a lot of his fights. So I just feel like he should go with that. Like yeah, don't try yeah. to be somebody you're not. You know, well, and, and or even hire somebody. You know, somebody that can, a PR person that can help you put certain things out or tell you what, you know, not how to act necessarily, but put stuff out on your social media or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, Boxing Pound from Pound Jack said, Ryan actually uh, drunk a Peroni during weigh-ins, but it was non-alcoholic. So, I mean, you called it. It was a props. It, it was <laughs> it was props. And... um to get another endorsement, huh? <laughs> uh, he, that's what I'm saying. The man, he is smart. He really is. Uh Asiel Lopez, I wish Haney had the power to KO him. That that's another thing too. So I want to get your scenarios on how you think that this fight is gonna go. Mm. You know what? I think this is gonna be a situation where I just get to see how Haney deals with someone that is, you know, a little bit more lengthier and has a different body type mm-hmm. than a lot of his opponents have had in the past. Um, I do see Haney winning by decision. Um, I don't know if he can stop him unless he, you know, took a few tricks from Tank with the body. Right. <laughs> right. Um, but but if 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 that's the case, then I think Haney would have to get inside at some point. Um, you just you know you're not gaining points. Uh, Mayweather was the only box defensive boxer who uh, could get a win in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like mm-hmm, if, you, mm-hmm, if you're mm-hmm. not punching back and you're not racking up some points, these judges are not likely to give you decisions, you know? Right. For uh, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So at some point I feel like he's going to have to engage um, with Ryan and, you know, and Ryan, he's, he's going to be, you know, throwing, but I, the, the footwork is not going to be, what mm-hmm. it needs to be, I believe, when it, mm-hmm. you know when you come to someone like um, Haney. So yeah, I think it's probably going to be more dominant for a dominant performance from Haney again. But yeah. on the flip side, I think it probably would be more entertaining, um, and and Ryan will try to make it exciting for as long as he can. Yeah, for sure. I'm I'm gonna give you my what I think. I have two different scenarios. I'm gonna give you my two scenarios, but I'm gonna read a boxing pound for pound jack. Also, uh Ryan apparently got paid five million, five million from OnlyFans. That's why he has many of uh, girls on his Instagram and live and spaces and everything. He's cashing on the ladies. Look, I'm not mad at him. He's fine. <laughs> I'm not mad the at man him. It's fine. Like that yeah. is a friend, the fine young man. So he can use, you know, his gorgeousness. To his advantage, and yeah, I don't blame him. No, like I'm like I'm not mad at anybody if they because we should all have you know several different streams of income and if that's one of his you know what kudos more power to him. Some of these girls may not even know who he is or what he does, but you know what they they paying for him on the OnlyFans so and they're gonna tune in. So kudos mm-hmm. to him. Yeah. But um, I, I agree with you as far as um, I believe it's gonna go all rounds. And and I believe Haney at the end will get his hand raised. But also, I think the best opportunity that, that Ryan would have would, would be in the early rounds. He's going to have to, like, come out the gate and really dog him. He would have to be dirty, dog him, and he would have to start touching Haney at the body first yeah. in order to stop him. Yeah, that's so, another one that's had a weakness with the body. I, I just, but with the the weight gain and not having to be so dehydrated mm-hmm. before fights, I, I I don't know how much impact. Right. You know what I'm saying? It'll have. Yeah. And and maybe that's why he said, "No, I can't lose this weight because I'm not going to have any gas. I'm not going to have anything left, and I'm I want to get out the gate and just dog him. Like I think that's the only way that he could get an advantage is coming out strong. But as the rounds go on, Haney's going to be, some people say on his bike, some people say with his running shoes on, but he's going to be all over that ring. And Ryan is not, I don't believe he's going to be able to cut him off. You know? Oh, that's, yeah, no, yeah, definitely. The, the 100 on that one. But what yeah. you're telling me, Christine, is you saying that 
Garcia is switching to Texas style. I mean, you know, he does <laughs> he does have a he does have a coach down here and he's been sparring these Texas boys and he, you know, this is the second second fight, not that you're going to change everything right off the bat, but you see that whenever people do change coaches, they'll start out doing what they've been learning unless they get into deep waters and they go revert back to where they were. Yeah. So, I don't know. Let's Let's just see what happens. I, I'm excited about the fight. I would fight. love to see that Ryan. I, that, that, that Ryan that you described, I would love to see him, you know, yeah. try to make it, you know, be that dog. I Same. mean, yeah, like, I mean, that will be a, instead of him trying to outbox somebody like he did Tank, which was like a totally terrible strategy. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and it would be I terrible could, with Haney. To yeah, try it would be even to, more to, to terrible with Haney. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, like for sure. So, so let's just see, you know, I'm, I'm excited, you know, about the fight. I'm looking forward to it. I think a lot of people are, um, I, I'm so horrible. I barely knew who was on the undercard. I do now, but, um, you know, I didn't even really <laughs> realize that, you know, cause we're just so focused and this, this buildup has gotten so much attention, you know, I know and, that's true. I'm, I'm happy Chico, about it though. Is it Darren Chanko was on this undercard, right? Yes. Darren yes, Chanko. I so think I so. Yes. Because I liked his performance against Mangia. I believe the cards were, you know, like they had a spread. I believe it was way closer than that. Um, and and I'm I I like Darren Chanko. I always have, and and I like his fighting style too. You know. So yeah, but it's gonna be good. It. And let, let me ask you about that too. So it seems like we've been noticing lately that there's these wide margins and margins in scoring. What I mean, I know it's always been that way. I mean, but it hasn't been as frequent as often. What do you think? Am I just the only one thinking that? I mean, well, it's a new generation of boxers. I mean, judging going on that that um you know, a lot of people have retired out that were masters at it. Number mm -hmm. one, um, number two, there's always the corruption factor. And then number three is, yeah, sometimes judges do have a bad ass, you know, <laughs> they, they, they on the side where there's like, you know, a blind spot and yeah. fans, they don't realize like, Hey, I'm watching it from TV. I got three or four cameras that's showing me right. every little new every angle. Right. And they're live trying to see from the back angle as well as sometimes they're looking at the the, the referee's booty. You know you're right. No, you're right. You, you're right like about that. You, you just have a bad angle, you know? That's true. That's but true. No, it, they like show that sometimes on TV. They should. They, they, they the should. Production staff should say, hey, look, this is judge number three. And, you know, this is what he's seeing right now. Or this is, you know, now, rotated. And, and I do agree with you. And I think that it does happen. But then you get those totally, like, one judge. Then you're like, were you watching something else on your phone? Were you, like, watching a total other fight? Where it's just, like, ludicrous. Like, you should be fired, <laughs> you know? Then do we get those. I think it's so. because it's no reprimand, really. I mean... These Boston commissioners they, they and Boston commissions look out for each other, for um, sure. you know, and 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 they don't want to say someone made a mistake when, you know, behind closed doors, they do have to answer as to why something looks the way it does. But really, at the end of the day, you're not going to get that much punishment um, for. No, I mean, just. The, yeah. yeah. So so that also contributes to you know, sometimes either being lackadaisical or knowing, you know, with the corruption that you might can get away with a bad score. Um, Absolutely. You know, so, so all of that is at play in certain mm -hmm. aspects, you know? You know, in the back of my mind, like I've never experienced it myself. I've never, I've been, you know, back, you know, in the locker rooms, I've been out in the audience, I've been everywhere and, and I've never personally experienced it, but I always wonder if there's like an unspoken, like word, like, you know, this is our guy, like, you know, this is a side, well, automatically a side, B side, but it's like, you know, sometimes like it's this, a lot this of person. Pressure. I feel like it's a lot of pressure on the states um, 
you know, as far as making revenue, keeping promoters happy, bigger promoters that might not come to your state that often. You want to make sure that they're pleased so that they'll come back. I mean, it's a lot of like, you don't have to say a word because it's obvious. Mm -hmm. Like if you got a huge promoter coming in that they want their <laughs> guys to win. Yeah, um, we're trying to elevate this. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Well, I mean, look at, you know, Haney, Loma, you know, um, I thought that was, well, I didn't like the the outcome of that, but you know, whatever. Then you can <laughs> go back and, you know, and, and say whatever and, and see what you want to see. Well, I would have um, been Lomachenko in that fight, honestly. Yeah, I and, I, and, I, and I think he won it. I yeah. do think he won it. Mm -hmm. um, boxing pound for pound, Jack said three amazing outcomes for tomorrow. One, Ryan gets KO'd by Devin. Two, Bill gets KO'd by Hopkins. <laughs> uh, three, Eddie and Oscar looks completely out of it with the bag of, oh, see, I didn't read this wow. before. With the bag he carries around. Okay, Boxing Power by Jack. That's cool. I, I read your comment. That's okay. Pretty, I mean, those are some I mean, great options. <laughs> they are. I mean, they're not far-fetched for sure. You know, they're mm -hmm. not. Especially you said Oscar was kind of looking stressed. So I mean he looks stressed. <laughs> he looks yeah, nervous. I think, I think that he, he needs to believe in his boxer and he needs to realize that Ryan is gonna have those fans regardless of what the outcome is in this fight. Um, yeah, tomorrow night. That that's what he, you know, pretty much needs to realize so he can chill a little bit. But he that's what I say. You want him to look good, you know what I'm saying? You do want him yeah. to even if your guy's gonna lose, you want him to look good. Absolutely. Um, and you and gotta you have that sign another that, contract with you too. <laughs> and, and you you gotta be an actor. Like you gotta be an actor. Like I don't care how nervous you are or whatever, you gotta put on this resting bitch face and when you gotta smile, you gotta smile. You can't let people know that you're nervous, that you're you're afraid for your guy. You can be like, No, my man's the best. He he's gonna <laughs> do his thing, you know? That yeah. that's what you got that's what you gotta do. Um so in my hometown in July. Yeah. Is it July? Um, July. Yes. July 21st, I believe. Yes, July 21st. Yes. So Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. And mm. that's great. That's wonderful. That's you know, but I'll tell you what's even more exciting to me. And I, I think you might agree is the undercard, the cold main event. Amanda Serrano, yes, Katie Taylor. Uh, yes, the rematch. The, the rematch. rematch. Yes. <laughs> I'm loving the rematch. Um, I love everything about it, except I wanted, you know, Serrano to be able to, you know, make, make, sh showcase that that new, we at the same level as men are when it comes to the rounds and the minutes. Right. And sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of figured that that wasn't going to happen if she did have the rematch with Katie, because it's not yeah. in her favor for her to have three minute rounds mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or have two extra rounds. Uh, so I right. feel like, you know, I feel like that's a scenario where, that that we got cheated out of as fans, um, especially all of us women that were rooting for her to be able to make, um, you know, the equal pay and the right, equal right. rights for female boxers. Um, in yeah. That but yeah. it's still going to be a huge win for everybody. Huge. And the reason why is just because you got so many more additional eyeballs on their fight as the co-main event. And yes. women always steal the show. So yes. I'm expecting no different here. And it's just like all these global eyes from people wanting to see Tyson and yes. be able to win over some of these fans to, you know, women boxing. Absolutely. It is such, I mean, Jake Paul is a marketing genius, obviously. I mean, that's why he he's doing that's what he's doing and he is where he is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, he's got his, his fans from, from that has been following him forever. You know, we got Mike Tyson, all the old heads, me and everybody older, you know, that he, he was in our time. And then we got these two ladies who have just captured the hearts of everybody. I mean, male or female, you can't say you're not a fan. Their last fight. I mean, it was an all out bloody war. It was beautiful, you know, um, and now we're going to get it again. 
you know um and and i'm with you as far as i think if if they can both agree that i would like to see the three minutes and the two extra rounds because i know what amanda's doing she's she's trying to change things for the future you know for the future women to get the equal pay to yeah. to be treated the same whatever mm -hmm. but i will say this um i was kind of like damn are they gonna do three minutes because they took some they took a beating both of them Very they took some punishment you know yeah. that 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 is for true like and then you gotta think about the fact that katie i mean just had those two hard fights with chantelle cameron yes you know? so exactly like, like, whoa she's going into back to back to back to back exactly. Hard yes. fights, you know. I yes. mean, she's building out her career in like the best style ever. Absolutely. Mega fight. Out with so, a bang. Yes. Yes. I mean, all the money she didn't make in the beginning, she is collecting. For right sure. Now. Yeah. For sure. I love that. You know. No, I do too. I do too. Uh, uh, boxing power pack. Jack said, "Have they started giving out tickets, Christine? I don't. Uh, I did see it on Ticket. Is it yes. Ticketmaster?" I did, I did see they're starting to sell. But it's like a prepaid code right now. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. So they, they are. Yeah. Um, and then so he said apparently Katie's getting six million. Paul, top lift. Hey guys, hello. Um, and yes, also the the event is non-pay-per-view. Hello. What a score, what a win for us. I mean, you know, like, wow. I mean, come on now. No, who who I know there's some people complaining because I have to say, you know, I love my heavy bag guys and fellas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they were a little disappointed. Like they were all excited now about that actual fight, the rematch. Okay. But okay. They were like a little deflated when they found out that it was like the co main and not its own main event. Because they feel like that could have been a real main event for the ladies uh, and which actually i'm kind of proud of because i'm like it was only like two years ago i was having to like be like no guys you gotta watch the female yeah fights. yeah yeah they were so much more action, action packed and they still in these shows i'm telling you right and now it's like they're super excited you know what i'm saying and i don't have to say hey guys check out this fight that's coming up yeah it's like no they're on it and they 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 are loving you know these matchups that the women are doing and they're wishing that the men would be like the men boxing would be doing the same but you know what the thing i, I see what they're saying but i think just because it being jake paul and mike tyson this is the best scenario for the ladies now could they could they carry the show hell yeah they could yes. but but with these two headliners i think it's going to be bigger and they're going to make more money because of it exactly you know? exactly that's exactly what i said too i said mm -hmm. uh, but yeah like they're gonna they, they're gonna break you know the most money made for female a female boxer you know what i'm saying yes absolutely so what could absolutely be that? and then like i said the exposure is so much more exposure for so the much ladies. yeah different eyes Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, women's boxing channel. Say hi, Christine. Hi, Sakura. Hope you're well. We are well. Thanks for tuning in. We love you. Up, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I only hear from her when I come on your show. I'm oh my god. <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> uh, Tony Iago said, "That's good. No, that's good." Tony Iago says, uh, "I'm paying my six ninety nine for Netflix that month." I know that's right. <laughs> and you know what? E e even just to put it on Netflix is genius. Seriously, because you know what? Maybe nobody's ever heard. They live under a rock. They never heard of Mike Tyson. You know, maybe yeah. their, their grandfather didn't get to tell them about it. But they're scrolling through Netflix and they're like, oh, what's this? This older man going to fight this big old man. Oh, and then we got two ladies going to fight. Let me let me stop here. You know, so I think it's genius. I really do. I, I'm uh, sitting here thinking Netflix, damn it, boy, they turned down some other, you know, possibility projects for boxing. But yep. when it came to this one, they was just like, we can't let this go. We can't. At we all. cannot. <laughs> At we all. We have to do this money. We have to come up with this. This. Yes. I, I, we need that on Netflix. We need that. 
you know? I, I, I agree. What their mouth is. They did. <laughs> they probably said yes before they even read the fine print. Yes, we'll work the rest out later. I would have. Sheesh. Um, yes. Tony says, Shanaysha Green should have squeezed herself on that card somehow just for visibility. Well, you know what? Maybe she wanted to. Maybe she wanted to, but they just didn't have, you know, a lot of times it's very rare that you have two um, women you know, matchups that mm -hmm. it does happen, but that's, I think all the eyes need to be on Katie and Amanda. And I think that's, I, I'm assuming I'm not, I don't know. That's you know, true, I cause you don't even know if they're finished, like putting this card together, actually, like we, we're that not too. Totally sure. Um, it seems like he would want to maximize, you know, uh, Jake Paul would want to maximize her coming back from the, uh, franchise cruise um, lost, so maybe they would want to put her on there too for more eyeballs. But um, yeah, if not, I like the idea of just Katie and and Serrano being plenty. Me too. It's Me enough. too. <laughs> I mean, it, it, if they were just those two two matchups, man, I'd be happy. I'd be satisfied. Uh, anyone else? Hey, that's just icing on the cake. You know, <laughs> seriously. Um, cooking with Chris said, yo, it's cooking. What's cooking? Just wanted to say hi. Hey. Hello. Thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate you. No, uh, women's no, boxing channel. <laughs> right. You got something on the grill. <laughs> Women boxing channel legacy afterthought is often ignored or even not considered, I believe, because he, um, he made a comment that, um, Katie should have maybe say, said something about, um, doing the three minutes back then, but she wasn't really worrying about it. I think that, um, you know, I think Amanda, I think people have talked about it, but I think Amanda was the first one to say, you know what? I really, really am going to do something about it because I'm they can be interviewed. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? Yeah. She was like, I'm going after this. And she had all the titles at her division. So, you know, she, she was in a position, uh, build a rapport with a boxing commission and, a and and see what could be done you know with these sanctioning bodies and, right. and so far really the only hindrance right now is the wbc they still are like on the fence and not wanting to um allow it but yes yes on board absolutely yeah she was in the, posi the position to say you know what this is what i want <laughs> Well, I'm holding all my jewelry. This is what I want. I'm the queen. And they, yeah, they had to listen and they did. And everybody agreed. Um, Cooking with Chris said, yo, Christine, I seen you on Southpaw uh, and I became a fan. You know, Boxy for sure. Thank you so much. And I appreciate that. And I really appreciate it coming on his show because we had a great dialogue like me and my girl are. You know, it, it was great back and forth. Um, and the women's boxing channels. I love the facts that it's in the USA, though. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> That's true, too. Like, there's a lot going overseas right now. So this is our opportunity to make it shine. And the AT&T Stadium is a perfect location. I mean, yes, yes. TVs, they're going to be wide open that night. <laughs> Girl, and listen. It is completely, it should be completely sold out. Oh, I'm sure it will. I, I really believe. I mean, I had it's so funny. I had people that I haven't talked to in so long, but they know I'm involved in boxing. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't even watch boxing. They're like, oh, my God, how can I get the Mike Tyson ticket? You know, because they knew Mike Tyson from back in the day. And it, it's just it's great. It, it, it's like it's like a, a resurrecting the fans, you know. Right. It, and I I think it's beautiful. Um, a woman's boxing channel said AT and T is eighty k capacity. Yeah. So mm, you know, and they wow. they're gonna feel yeah. it. They gonna feel the it. Money too. The money involved with that. Girl. And the, and the Netflix subscriptions. All yes. that is gonna be insane. all of it. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be a huge, huge uh, uh, payday for everybody involved. That's for sure. Um, so we we saw today that Terrence Crawford is moving up to one fifty four. He's gonna fight Israel Madra. I don't even want to like Madrid mess up his last name. Thank Madrid you. <laughs> Madrid, yes, I think it's Madrid. Yes, and and you know the he's no he's he's pretty tough guy. What what are your thoughts on that? I mean, I like the idea of Terrence moving up to 154. It's about uh -huh. that time. Um, you know, if he doesn't want to be at 147 anymore, 
I don't think any boxer should or any other fan should be telling him, no, he needs to stay at 147. I mean, because I you. know it's been like, what, 10 years at 147? Yeah, yeah. I and mean, to be able to, like, continue to go there and still be good and strong and, you know, not be dehydrated and, you know. Exactly. And then up. on top of that, it's like an opportunity for him to snatch all them titles so he can be undisputed at a, another division. Um, so that would make three, you know, that's like a multi-divisional uh, undisputed champion, potentially. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, he's already like a future Hall of Famer. So absolutely. You know, it's just like, why not go for it? You know, that's what and I say. I don't understand people that don't want him to go there. But, um, you know, today also they did have that. Jamel has come out of hiding. <laughs> And he's like, wait a minute, WBA. I want to fight him for the title. Matt how Ryan. long? How, how long have we been waiting? Uh, was it two? Is it two years? He's been holding on. Is it two years? Like how long have we been waiting? Yeah, is, is Canelo was he? Oh well, did he? He's a champion in recess. Yes. Um, and you're right. It probably is about two years because of the hand injury. And then, oh, by the way, let me go up to 168 and fight Canelo. Exactly. Um, so, so what? this to me seems like some power moves going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, um, you know, when you have that status and these sanctioning bodies give you that type of um, power. Yes. That's the thing. Champion in recess, this is yes. what you get to do. You get to You're right. decide to do what you want to do and be and a spoiled brat. Yeah. Like, and, and, um, you know, I, not for nothing. I thought that when he came back, he would want to fight at middleweight and yeah. gradually come down. So right. I'm not really excited about him wanting to jump right into 154, if you know what I mean. Right. Yeah, like, for I sure. Like to see that being done gradually. But right. if, you know, he wants to fight the dub, I mean, you know, Bud likes the IBL. <laughs> the IBL. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> He, he, they could still look. Whoever gonna get the money? He might have just seen how much money Saudi is willing to pay. But look, that's what it is. Everybody's like, seeing that. Money too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What you about know, me? Yeah. You know, it's like it's like he he didn't want to go play in the playground. Now he sees uh, uh two two kids picking up a ball. Now he wants to go take his ball back. You know, it's like you you i don't know we'll see we'll see how this all plays out but i mean i don't blame him trying to get the big saudi money because they got the money and they're paying and i and from what i'm hearing they've taken um over some tennis leagues some golf leagues oh. and they're paying the, oh yeah and now they're now boxing you know they're they're paying some big money um so let me see uh women's boxing channel said who we think wins be ball or better be question, no i had oh yeah sorry I, no, you're good. I did have a question about that, Christine. Do you think you would travel to Saudi if they needed you to go there for a corner or something? Man, I, I you know what? I would. Like, I know that there's different laws and stuff like that, and you, and mm -hmm. I would definitely have to know what all the the laws are and the stipulations, because especially with women and mm -hmm. and and things like that. But you know what? Look, let somebody call me up, and and yes, girl, <laughs> I have I have my passport. I need to cover my head and wear long sleeves or whatever I need to do. I'm doing it. Girl, you passport locked in. You stamped to death now. <laughs> and, um, yeah. you know, I, I think I would want to be able to change minds and change hearts. Um, For sure. And I definitely have changed my opinion on that. But, yeah. you know, I, I feel like when you want change, you want to affect change, but you can't do that if you're not really engaging. You know, you are it's, so it's right. Shit and you ain't. You ain't backing it up by trying to like really show like how much value we as women have in the sport. Absolutely. Absolutely. I totally, totally agree with you. You know, sometimes we have to go places that are uncomfortable for the greater cause, right. you know, and not saying that it would be uncomfortable. It would just be different from what I know, you know, um, but traveling, you know, and being able to see other cultures has really helped me, I believe, to be a better person, you know, right. yeah. um, not to leave any kind of judgmentalness or, or prejudice in any way um, to leave it behind because 
everybody is awesome everywhere. Like they really are. That sounds stupid, like a commercial, but but it's so true. Yeah. It's so true. And and I know people all over the world that I just that that aren't like me. They're different. They have different religion, different way of believing, different what. And hey, we we good. And and I love it. So that's been a blessing, you know, being able to yeah, travel. And I, also, we as Americans, we got to stop. You know, we don't want anybody else identifying us by our politics, our government. Is. You know, our government and, and its population don't always match up. That's so true. We, You're not lying. You know, <laughs> like, that is so true. Don't put me over there. Don't put me over there. <laughs> no, that right. is so true. Um, so so better be and be bold. I, I, I think better be is going to win. What do you think about that? Oh my God. Are we odds? Are we odds? This is the sleeper. I'm calling this my sleeper fight because okay. damn it, it's going under the radar a bit, but we're talking about another undisputed fight here. And we're talking yep. about the, a matchup that's been in the works for years. And we finally get to see this happen. I yes. am like super over the moon about this one just because it's it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like slick boxer versus puncher aggressor. <laughs> yes. No, Wolf I know. Man. Right. Yeah. Wolf man. Woo. Seriously. Yeah. So, so I can't. I don't know. I don't know where to go with this. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to. I think I think. I'm going with better BM right now. Yeah, yeah, me too. That, that's what I'm going at right now. So, and, and the reason why I say so, I had I had a fire back in the day. He fought Bivol, and then he also was in camp with 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 uh, better BF. and so he felt he spoke them both. He he knows them both, and he said okay. they were both heavy hitters, both just crazy power. But better BF, it was like he had cement blocks on his fist every punch, like the jab everything was just like a break your body down punches mm. crazy and he's so robotic and he gets hit and he just keeps coming you know so that that's that's, that's kind of like swaying you no know, he is getting older he you is know, he is getting older we saw signs of that and not his last fight but the fight before that yeah but at the same time you gotta think this is the one this is the one that he's been waiting for the most money that he can make at this point. And um, I just feel like he's going to be ready for that. But yeah. my, the real reason I want to go with better be there be is because I just don't know how long uh, that beautiful jab that Baval has is going to be able to hold off somebody who's just straight power movement Coming. in your face. Just yeah. <laughs> like you said, you hitting him, and he's still coming. Like I right. just don't know how, what kind. You got some tricks, I know, Baval. You got some tricks. Et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Pull them out. You ain't fought nobody like this before. Like even That's with Canelo, you know, he, he 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 was trying to overcome size as well. No, right. now you're in there with somebody that's a similar, the same size as you, who can who, who's really got the force behind it. You know, behind. Yeah. Him as uh, you know in in his boxing skills as well so i, I just i think better be a got this yeah that's what i'm saying too um so boxing contract jack said christine women have boxed in saudi before um i i personally did not know that i did not know that but um also i'm talking about like if somebody calls me up and says they need to cut women that's true. I'm I'm there. I'm there. So that that's good to know that that, that women have Ali, boxing. Um, I think it was Ali that went there and fought one time. Oh, okay, okay. Thank um, you for that. Okay. The, she's model, right? Isn't she also oh. a model? Yes, oh, Ramala Ali. Yes, Ramala Ali. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Well, Thank you. I think that's had like a. a You're like right. A on that in in Saudi, but I don't know who else. Yeah, they were the first. So they were the first pros to fight. It's like, okay, thank you for that. You know what? It seems like now that y'all say that, I remember that. I do remember yeah. that now. Mm -hmm. Um, and then so uh, cooking with Chris says Bevo will outskill him. Arthur never, um, Arthur never seen, uh, seen skills like this before. I mean, I'm not gonna take that from you. He can box. Like he can box. He can move. He can. He can. Yeah. And if he box circles, which we haven't really seen him, well, he did that with Canelo. But so yeah, we, we don't know. We don't know. It, it's it's still up in the air. But I think um, like Women's Boxing Channel says, it's a true uh, chess game. It really, really is. Um, 
going back to Charlo, Tony Yayo says Charlo may be um, angling for a step aside money. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I can see that. That's, that's true. Okay. Why not? Um, yeah. Speaking on what you were just speaking on about uh, Better BF and his, and his skills and everything, I think Better BF had a fight that's worth watching if you guys didn't see it with um, Hot Rod, Kajali. And he's kind of that yeah. same type of like boxer, puncher type guy. And and things were going well for him with Better BF in a minute. But then as soon as he got close to him and he wanted to brawl back, total shutdown. OK. And quick, yeah. And quick. yeah. So you might want to check out that fight. Um, I'm going to look I'm going to look it up. I don't remember that fight. I'm going to look it up. It, I mean, nobody wants to be in the pocket with him. Like, I'm sorry. It's yeah. just no. Yeah. Like, you it's know? not a good idea. No, uh, uh-uh, uh, no. You you're gonna have to uh, you know, box like like the wall can box, you know, and he can move a little bit more. But then you got this big wall coming to you. You know what I mean? Like, yes. so like what happened? Oh, yeah. Also, speaking of hot rod, I'm just hearing today that they were saying something about him possibly no, Morel Jr. possibly moving up to 175, which Ooh. means he has to vacate. His WBA. Yes, he would have to make it. Yeah, yeah. I wonder why they would need that to happen. And well, <laughs> yeah. Let me just stop. But <laughs> we're going to move up to 175 and face Hot Rod. This is okay. what came out as another possibility today. Um, okay, I missed that. Okay, that's exciting. But that's I would exciting. Love to see 168 with Morel. I think that's the real boogeyman yeah. of that division. Nobody right. No, I, I agree. I agree. I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll just have to sit back and see what happens. But you know what? I don't mind. I got my popcorn ready. Well, I got my, my glass of wine ready. And oh. I'm ready. I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready for all these great matchups, these great fights. I really, really am. But, um, okay, I'm going to read this last question. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Women's Boxing Channel, but Bivol versus Better BF are both Russians too. This in itself will generate massive interest from Russia alone. Absolutely. Absolutely it does. Um, boxing pound for pound jack. Better BF used to beat up uh, Kovalov for fun in the amateurs and even stopped him. Bivol was Kovalov's understudy then. Better BF by destruction. Ooh. By yeah. destruction. I, I like them he words. Said destruction. <laughs> and we know he can do it too. We know he can do it. But let's that that's that's a that's a good one. I'm excited. Um is there is there any any last thing you want to talk about or I- anything you want to let people know? They need to know where to follow you and what you're doing. But other than that, anything else? Yeah, we'll get to that. Whatever. Listen, <laughs> I didn't get to check out what you had to say about the beef that Clarissa Shields and Alicia Baumgartner had uh, what was uh, that, a week ago and the subsequent rap that Shields had. Did you miss it? Did, did you, you didn't see it? I didn't the, get the to rap? see you. And oh, your, yeah. Yeah, we didn't get to talk to about it. it. <laughs> Girl, listen. That that was that was that was fun. That was fun. That was funny. <laughs> you know, I, I was asked the other day, like, do you think it's real? Do you okay look? I, I do think it's real. I mean, I, I women, we can be ferocious, okay? And the thing is, I think that Clarissa really felt felt betrayed because she and Alicia were friends, allegedly. And she picked Alicia over Mayer and Mayer was her sister. Like they went, you know, to the Olympics together. They were on team USA together. And for her to switch up like that, when they say they're our sisters, they're close. They have the same people that they work with. Mm. And to be with Alicia, I said, okay, this is her friend. And then for Alicia to start, you know, doing all her tactics. And I, I think, it had to do with her popping dirty. She's trying to get the attention off of that, aside from other things she was doing. But I was like, yeah. okay, th- this is real now. What, what do you think? Yeah, I, I think you hit it right on the nose. Clarissa was feeling like, you know, you got some nerve, and, you know, I stuck my neck out. I backed you up. Yeah. Um, you know, I might have let down my other friend, Mayors. Yes. Trying to hook you up. And, 
not just that. It's just like if you Google their names together, you see them like hugging in pictures and shit, like <laughs> like showing sisterly love. And then it does seem like it came from out of nowhere, right? Because it, it they're so far apart in in weight classes. It's they like are. why are you trying to like hunt me down? You know, so many other yeah. options and alternatives. You know, as far as opponents. Uh, it, That's it just, true. Seen, uh, you know, and maybe just maybe Alicia did hear that she was saying some stuff behind her back or something. Who knows? Yeah. But if that's Who not knows? the case, she just came out of the blue and like you saying, using it as a distraction. Hey, she got Clarissa's number. All she had to do was call her and be like, hey, and "That's exactly I need right." To do some tea for a couple of days, you know, right? That's what she Seriously, whatever. That must have did not happen. And therefore, I would be fucking pissed off too. <laughs> exactly. And then and if she let's just say she did hear that Clarissa was talking about her behind her back. Why are you gonna go to Twitter? Call her up too. Hey girl, so and so said blah blah blah. What's up? You know, yeah. simple. That's real what women, women do. That's real women shit. That's a women. <laughs> it's like Hello. I'm digging bad enough to call another woman up and say, hey. What was this I hearing about you said this and that? I mean, right. I, give me a chance. I'm gonna give you a chance to explain Absolutely. To how this came up and how this Absolutely. But and, and, and I don't know. I just it's saying it seems weird to me. No, it, it does seem weird. And then but now you know uh Clarissa's like all oh, guns are blazing, but you know what? Like I said before too, why would Clarissa uh, even meet her anywhere? I got all the jewelry. You want my jewelry? You're gonna come to my house and you're gonna take it at my weight. Like that like is what? what that is what she said, and it does ring true. She's the three, is it three or four time? Uh, I think she's four, four yeah, times. Yeah, champion. Like I'm, and and I done already been down the one fifty four before. I and already been down that road, that. right? But but also check this out. Like if anything, that rap, I loved her rap because that <laughs> it was. It girl, was. That was that she was fire. Shared. Yeah, it was fire. She had the words, the rap, you know, the rap yes. together. Like, I mean, and she, and she said what she had to say. And, you know, I guess it was prompted by this with this fight night that yes. was commentating on. And, you know, you, you, you listen, I'm trying to work here. I'm trying to get this extra <laughs> paycheck. OK, yeah, I don't, need, I don't need this extra beef going on, making me look like I'm not professional and everything. And then, you, you know, I'm going to come out of my character. If, if it's me, I'm going to be like, what the fuck? Like, you start, no, she, for she real. Wouldn't want somebody to do that to me. Absolutely I mean, not. Right, so. <laughs> but but you know, you know what, though? And I have to admit, so I had heard, uh, I think, another couple of her raps before and I wasn't feeling it. I was not feeling it. Okay. But this one I was feeling and I'm going to tell you why, because I felt like there was some real passion behind there. There, there was this was some <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like sometimes you need to be inspired. Yeah. And I believe she that was emotion. inspired. Yeah. yeah. And it was fire. And I think when people do that, when they're inspired to do something because of life or whatever happens, that's when the best things come out. You know, so this, this yeah. song, this, this was fire. It was. Yeah. It um, was. One disclaimer, though. I do want to say that while I still have questions uh, about the uh, the the testing and everything that was done with Alicia, I do like the fact that she came up with a different way to try to prove that she wasn't. Um, because I feel like right now it's like whatever these you know these companies say, it, it's like that's that's it. You if you really do feel like you know something was inaccurate or something happened with your samples or whatever, you really had no way of going about doing it. And I guess. You know, especially for men now, they, they still ain't gonna be able to pull no hair from four months ago, you know. Usually right. they cutting they stuff, you know. They right, hair. right. But right. I just still feel like I like the path that is laying out for other boxes to be able to use if they do have a legitimate cause to to need to do, you know, some kind right. of appeal or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I, I get what I you're mean, saying. First hand, Christine, you know, yeah, dealing with the Olympics how you know, yeah, you get accused of things and you really don't have many options on how you are able to um, go against the engine. Of, right. Of the, you know, the testing. Well, the correct me if I'm wrong, but the, the only issue that I had with that was that 
so uh, there was supposed to be some different two different things you know that she was found and so the one the one uh ped pd that she was guilty for that was the one i believe that was a year and then they did the hair and there was nothing there um but but she was still guilty on the other you know so it's like okay. i'm glad you got off over here and i'm glad you proved that point but you're still guilty here um, we have had that. We have had that um, with a past Olympian where she was found uh, guilty and she got a team of lawyers and they did all the, the testing and everything um, and no nothing her hair, nothing like that. Well, she had, this is, uh, it's daytime TV, but we go in there. But um, she had uh, had, <laughs> or she had had oral sex with her boyfriend and she consumed it and he was on peds and wow. it was the only the second time in history that it had been proven and that it had happened before a second Isn't that time something? it was an actual second first. time yeah okay, yes she was the first time but no she was the second one yes i just dated that scenario because it's just it's so how do you say it i mean it's just exposing and yes uh, right uh, right really, right private right. part of female, you know, female. Absolutely. Female Absolutely. I agree. Well, behaviors and stuff. Like I just yeah. think that it was that, but yeah. other than that, you're, you're thinking like, okay, not a scientist. No, this is actual. This is, this, actual. this is a thing. This can be yeah. a thing. Yeah, exactly. Actually something that can be transferred in that way. Right. And, um, Absolutely. You know, so now they can try to hone in on different tests or whatever to be able to tell the difference between me taking yep. it and me intaking it <laughs> exactly and, and he subsequently was kicked off the team and she wasn't so you know they knocking on that door and you, you know. know that's the thing is like you know normally it's the woman that's got to go it's not exactly normal, it's, it's not they don't get in trouble like the women get you know the punishment so i mean i'm not happy that that's what happened to him and Right, his career, but, but I'm definitely glad that it ain't always the chick, you know, that she was able to overcome that. Exactly, and I and you I'm that's also the right you know, choice of words. <laughs> you wild, I love it. <laughs> but the thing is, too, is like it takes so much to even like admit to something like that. So I kudos know. to her. She could have been like, "No, we're not even going to go there." Okay, and then she's guilty, you know. So. And, and it, it's going to help other people, I'm sure, in the future. So it's, you know, that kudos to her for that. But um, I know. But so. there's been some professional boxes that was like, I know I wasn't doing anything. And, but yeah. I'm so small. Like, I didn't have money to pay attorneys and do all this extra stuff. That's to, exactly to right. Too. Case or do these yeah. independent drug testings and, right. and different things. So, you know, you're screwed. You, you got to take whatever the consequences they give you are. So that's, that's true. what I meant when I was saying, like, I'm glad that there, it's at least showing some ways to. Yeah, that there are other it. options for sure. And, and we're very blessed at, at USA Boxing because they have lawyers. They have that. But there's some countries that don't have that. And then there's some pros that they don't they haven't gotten there yet. They can't right. afford to get a lawyer. So I get it. Like, so you're yeah. right about it's it's whether we think she was guilty or not. She had. um there was other vehicles that could help her prove whatever she needed to prove. So right. no, I, I, I totally, totally. Um, oh my but gosh. My question is, how did that one get, I, I don't understand. Like, you know, other people had a problem with it being an independent. Yeah. Drug yes. Drug independent. Company. Yeah. But yeah. Because also, it was, yeah. I'm like, well, how, if everything was done legitimately, as I'm assuming it was, how yeah. did that test get, that positive uh screening on her yeah like if that's yeah. not if, if it was proved that they really wasn't there so where did that come right from? yeah it, there's yeah. so many questions and we just don't even know what really goes on i mean obviously there's speculation there's allegations there's rumors and stuff but you know it's like we just got to go with what's in front of us unfortunately or fortunately you know now she can go on to fight another day and we'll we'll see what happens you know um nancy rodriguez says hi hello uh hey. women's boxing channel i'm not going to read your comment <laughs> um <laughs> he's, he's he's so funny he's so funny but um but anyway 
I, uh, it has been such a pleasure to have you. I'm actually, I'm going out of town in like yes. 15 minutes, <laughs> just yes. for a night, just for a night. Uh, I, it's like, I'm always doing something and it's great. You really but I was, are. You're so busy. I was just telling my family, I was like, I just want one day where I could just lay in the bed and then I probably wouldn't be able to do it. Watch some yeah. movies. Do, and then shoot, two hours later, I'm going to be up like, okay, I need to be doing something because I'm such a busy body. But, yeah. but yeah, uh, just going to go out of town for a night and I, I got some stuff to do out of town and then I'll be back. But I will definitely be tuned in on Saturday night on the fights. Where are you watching it at? Oh, I'm going to be home, my darling. <laughs> yes. In my yes. nightgown, enjoying it or not, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, I feel but that. Entertaining enough, we we will be tuning in for sure for the whole but, card. So uh, right, exactly. Um, Same. Thank you so much as always for allowing me to be on your platform. You my girl. Your we 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 vibing. We vibing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We I, are I, love you, I love you so much and I just love admire you. your hustle and your grind in the sport. And as usual, you find a way to to get me to come on your platform and talk <laughs> and have fun. So I do appreciate it. No, I appreciate you too. People love you. You know, I love you. People love you. You got so much knowledge. And we have to do, we have to be at the forefront because we are women and we know boxing and, and it's just such a beautiful thing and it brings me so much joy. So I'm so glad That's that true. God brought us together and we're going to do it again and again thanks, and James. again and again. <laughs> yes. Thanks, James Dominguez. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it and send it to him. <laughs> All right. So thanks to everybody that tuned in. Thanks to our chat. Always the best comments, the best questions. Everybody's always respectful and I just love it. But um, tell everybody about the heavy bag. When can they, they watch? When can they see you? What's going on with that? Uh, that's on Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. I'm with Heavy Bag Boxing's Tough Talk Tuesdays for their podcast. And then on um, Wednesdays is Latin America, but that's at 8. And then um, special editions and ladies' nights. That's me and Emilio, and that's whenever we can find time. <laughs> love it. I love it. I love it. Well, you have a wonderful weekend. Love you, girl. We'll talk soon. Absolutely. Have a great okay. night. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.